Welcome to this series of how to's. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the water cartridge in our ES series of showers. For this, you will need uh, two essential tools, a screwdriver, flathead, and a two and a half mil Allen key. First thing you need to do is isolate the water. Once you've done that, you'll be ready to take the valve apart. Once you have the water isolated, it's going to make the job a lot easier if you remove any hoses here. The reason being is you will need full access to the locator hex nut to the rear of the valve. So starting here, you will find the locator hot and cold underneath. You need to simply pop that out. You can do this just for your nails. It's not too difficult. And place that on the shelf so you don't lose this. Next, you will need the flat headed screwdriver and inside there is a grub screw which you can remove simply by locating and unscrewing. Once you have removed the grub screw, remove the handle easily. Once you've exposed the cartridge, all you need to do is take hold of the outer shroud that holds the cartridge in place and with a bit of force turning anti-clockwise, unscrew it. Now at this point, if it's too difficult to unscrew, it's wise to have somebody at the back put a little bit of pressure on the back of the valve to just release the tension on this and then simply unscrew this like so. Which will now remove the whole cartridge and shroud. Once you've removed everything, you simply repeat the process once again to put everything back. It's important to note here that you have two lugs and these will locate at the top of the valve. So simply taking your cartridge, pop this inside like so. You can hold this quite tight and firm here and locate these into the top lugs and then simply screw the body back on like so one tip when you are putting this back on if you're struggling again have somebody behind just help locate uh, the thread screw it on and uh, do the nut up at the back another important note is when you screw this shroud back on ensure that the finishing plate is to the front of the thread this will ensure that you have maximum thread going through the column, allowing you to do the nut up at the back, which we'll show you. Once you have done that and you've got everything tight, simply tighten the plate from the front, like so. And that is nice and secure. Then finally, replace the handle, like so. Do up the grub screw with the screwdriver. And last but not least, replace the hot and cold button and you're finished. So once you have the valve pushed through, you simply align the hex nut and secure in place along with the washer behind it, making sure the valve is now nice and tight into position. You can now reconnect all your hoses ready for turning the water back on. 